Hello, I'm Storm Trucker 18 Weather Chief Meteorologist Matt Schaefer. We had some wind today. Gusts got into the 20s for most of us at the peak of the afternoon, but they're going to be even stronger going into the overnight and tomorrow, especially as a cold front comes through. Uh, after midnight picking up again, sustained wind speeds in the teens near 20. Gusts could be topping out in the mid to upper 30s. I would not be surprised to see a few 40s on the gusts. That's a shorter period of time, a shorter window right as the front passes, or in fact, right before the front passes, where the winds are going to be the strongest. Then there's going to be a lull about in the morning hours near sunrise around 7 o'clock. The sun comes up, starts mixing the air a little bit, and then you pick up some more gusts. Sustained winds in the 20s tomorrow. Tomorrow. Gusts probably not quite as high. Still could see a few brief ones in the mid to upper 30s during the afternoon. Now this all comes as a front passes, but I'm not expecting a lot of rain. Now I think it'll be a little bit more than what Futurecast showed. It just had scattered showers, generally speaking, near and north of Highway 8. But I can see the line extending all the way down to La Crosse. Even if that happens, less than a tenth of an inch will fall. So rain isn't going to be a big thing, and it's going to be out by early morning. The clouds clear out slowly throughout the rest of the day, where sunshine by the evening and Friday starts pretty similarly. The low temperature tonight is actually a little warmer, especially compared to where we've been. Dew points won't be terrible, but will be mostly cloudy. We're going to have all that wind, and there's a chance of those showers as those storms that move through. And again, we'll stay north northeast, and again, the winds could be gusting to near 40 miles per hour. Tomorrow's high is 72, but that is going to occur early on in the day, I think, possibly even in the year overnight hours. During the day, it's likely we're going to be stuck in the mid to upper 60s pretty consistently, even as the clouds decrease, because on the back side of that cold front, it's still very windy, carrying in colder air from the west northwest, 15 to 30 sustained, gusts again into the 30s. We do settle down a bit for Friday. The wind will be going away. Cooler start, 47, high of only 73 despite the sunshine. And Saturday, almost a repeat of today with a high near 79 degrees. Though clouds building into the afternoon and sh shower and thunderstorm chances will arrive overnight into Sunday. They should be out Sunday morning, though a few could linger through about midday. And after that front, it's going to get a little bit colder. There's a chance of rain again Monday night into Tuesday. And that's the really cold front because the air perhaps not even getting into the 60s on Wednesday. Uh, low temperatures near 40. There will be some spots, I think, with lows in the 30s. That does mean that frost cannot be ruled out. Now, it's way too early because it does depend on where that front goes. It'll stall out somewhere. Right now, it looks like it stalls south of us and we're on the cold side. But if frost is something you're worried about for your gardens or for your crops, uh, just keep your eyes and ears on the weather over the next couple of days. We'll be giving you updates into the weekend. We'll certainly have a better outlook of where the trends are going to be going as we head into next week.